those were swing and a miss no throw by Leduca the tying run is at second base on a steal by Jason Worth White who paid no attention to him Boy. so Worth is in scoring position. Oh and two to Iguchi. There goes Worth again. As Wagner didn't pay any attention to him, but he steals third. So now Worth is 90 feet away from tying this game with one out. Line drive hit the left field. This game is tied. Coming in to score is Worth. We are not at 10 10 here in the ninth inning. Understand that, but oddly against Wagner is two for seven lifetime. J Roll is hitless. Three and two to Chase Utley. Line drive hit the right field. Here comes Iguchi. The throw to the plate. Yes, yes, yes. win 11 to 10. Out of the RBI single by Chase Utley. What a huge win. What a huge series for the Viking Bills who sweep the New York Mets. Wow. Year that we played without the wild card. Rounded to the hole and a base hit and the Marlins take the early lead. Ugla comes in to score. It's an RBI single for Cabrera, his 119th run batted in. And Florida takes the early 1-0 lead. And Ross lifts one to right. A long run for Millage over toward the line. He won't get there, and it rolls all the way to the wall. Hermida will score. Cabrera is right on his heels and heading home. Castillo's throw. Castro can't handle it. Heading for third is Ross. Glavin makes the throw there and throws it into left field. Ross comes home to score, and it's 4-0 Florida. The wheels come off early. Wow. One two to Willis. Breaking oh, ball yeah. inside and it hit him and that forces in a run. And it's five to nothing Florida. And it just can't get any worse. Three one to Ugla. Rip down the left field line. That'll get at least two more runs home. Trainer scores. Deaza scores. Willis to third. He'll be held up there. It's a two-run double for Ugla. The Marlins have put up seven runs in the top of the first inning. And the Mets are in danger of seeing their season end today. Paul Seawald will take over here for the Mets. Nats will have Robles, Howie Kendrick on deck to pinch hit in the number nine spot, and then Trey Turner. That fastball hit hard into right center. Trey Turner is going to plug the gap. Victor Robles heading for third. Bob Henley sends him home. Turner makes it a 10 to 5 ball game with his second hit of the night and his 45th RBI. Base hit Rendon. RBI number 112. 10 6 now. Zimmerman, right center, well hit, and it's up against the scoreboard. Two runs will score. Held at third is Soto, and it's 10 to 8. Kurt Suzuki, C. You later. The Nets have won it. Seven runs in the bottom of the ninth. And now everyone dances. Sosha at the plate, Hernandez playing back of the runner at first, and that's ripped to right field and deep. Strawberry goes back, she's gone. Mike Sosha with 35 home runs in eight and a half years in the major leagues. And we talked about him throughout the series, big and strong, but really a contact hitter. A man who doesn't strike out a lot and who doesn't hit very many home runs, averaging about four per season. It's 
Gibson hits a high drive, a towering drive to deep right center field, and that one is gone. So he hits a home run in the 12th inning after not hitting a ball out of the infield all night long. And as Tim just said, a low ball hitter against the sinker ball pitcher. Well, that's the only the second home run all year off Roger McDowell. The other hit by Bo Diaz of the Cincinnati Reds. But not as big as this baby. Broken bat looper, shallow center field. In comes Shelby and makes the catch. And when you write the story of this game, where in the world do you begin? One one. And a fly ball well hit right field. Bruce is back, turns, and it's gone. Connor Gillespie with a three-run homer in the top of the ninth to give the Giants the lead. So they had to pitch to Gillespie. Right center field. And the Giants win it. Behind the pitching of Madison Bumgarner in the ninth inning home run off the bat of Connor Gillespie, the Giants are moving on. They beat the Mets three to nothing, and they're headed to Wrigley Field. And the fastball hit the deep left field, way back. Johnson to the wall, and it is out of here. A grand slam home run, and the Cardinals win it. Shallow left. Rosario out. Smith in. And Dom lets it drop. Around third. Dickerson trying to score. The throw to the plate by Frazier gets away, and the Giants win. The Giants win in extra innings for the second straight night. A routine fly ball. Rosario was racing out, but it was Smith's ball all the way. Dom failed to catch it. Dickerson scores all the way from first, and the Giants win it in 10, one to nothing. went on to win the game in the 10th, 6-4. to four. And from then on, the Mets never really recovered. What Viscaino has to do is either reach on an error, get a base hit, or draw a walk, or get hit by a pitch. Well, he's got three hits tonight and a surprise start. Three for five, three singles. Wendell sets and the pitch. Swung on line drive, base hit to left field. Here comes Tito. He scores, and the Yankees win the game. A big base hit for Jose Vizcaino, and the Yankees win four to three, and they lead in this best of seven series, one game to nothing. Gordon in the air to center. Back at the wall. This game is tied.
Anderson back. Escobar tags. Here comes Escobar. The Royals win game one. Hosmer drives home. The winner in the 14th. Chopper on the infield, can't turn to Murphy boots it. In to score is the tying run, Zobrist. And this game is 3-3 in the eighth. That's to the right side, and the Royals take the lead. In to score is Kane, and going first to third is Hosmer. Moustakis has put Kansas City on top 4-3. Broken bat, that is caught. Going after back is Cespedes, and the game is over. Joanna Cespedes just took off, and he's doubled off on the soft line drive, and now the Royals are one win away from a World Series championship. Guaranteed to have the time of your life because the Mets.